excited to camp? How excited are you going to be? Oh, all the excitement. I mean, we've been working hard this all summer. We've been running, doing stations, doing seven on seven. So I'm happy to get back to you know football and pass. How would you like to you know, assess the young linebackers in the coverage? I mean, they're extremely smart. A lot smarter than than I was when I was a freshman, especially in the Kobe. Like you know, he catches on fast. It's like he's been out there a year already. So he definitely makes you know the older guys, me and Tay, Nick McBride. He makes it a lot better. What does this defense need to do to get better this season? Uh, you know, I think we need to just play as a unit, play together, you know, fix the small things, the little mistakes. Uh, I can call a bunch of games to where just one little mistake where somebody didn't hear a call and it led to a big play where if they were listening and heard the call, you know, over the linebacker been louder, they would have got that call and that mistake would have never happened. How is that linebacker role different? What do you do to kind of step up and teach the other guys to take that lead? Uh, you know, we got more vocal leaders this year. You know, Tate, Tate Crowder is vocal. I'm vocal. Nate McBride is vocal. So I just think we all grew as a ring. What's impressed you the most about Nakoda so far? Just, just how smart he is. Like, you know, he's, he's a complete dude. Like, in the weight room, he's freaky strong. On the field, he's real smart. So i never seen anything like it. What is uh, JR like as a teammate? What is he like as, as a leader with his defense? You said JR? Mm -hmm. JR is like a field general, you know. He always gonna be in the right spot, ready to make a play. You know, he don't go outside his means. He gonna do what he's supposed to do, and he's gonna, you know, lead. Have you seen him sort of evolve and really grow over the last few years? Yeah, I mean, yeah, ever since I've been here, like I remember when I first got here, Jr. was helping me out and all this, you know, vibe with him. And uh, I just feel like these two teams do that. The sky's the limit for me. What's the favorite thing you did in your off season? Favorite thing with the team? No, what was your favorite thing? Period. That I did. Oh, yeah. What, what did you do? Uh, I went fishing for the first time. All right. Yeah, so. Did you go with Jake? Yeah, I actually went with Jake, uh, Jordan Davis, and Malik. And JR. What did you catch? I caught two fish. I don't know the names. <laughs> 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 did you do the between lake fishing and ocean fishing? I was a lake, I guess. Did you outdo Jake? Actually, I did. He didn't catch none. <laughs> uh, he didn't catch none. <laughs> How big were they? Uh, one was like. <laughs> did you let him know about it? Did you, did you let him hear about it? Like, yeah, you yeah, so, yeah, he heard about it. <laughs> Marty, one of the things Kirby was talking about in the meeting was he expects you to kind of have this business mentality and be a businessman when it comes to your leadership and working with the young guys. Can you kind of expand on that? Uh, you know, I just think he wants me to, you know, lead in the right way, do things the right way. So when I do something the right way, then Tresman and Ryan and Kobe and Nate and Tay and them, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, that's the way to do it. And vice versa, when Tay's doing something, everybody else is watching him. So when he does something, you know that's the right way to do it. Does it feel any different being sort of better now that you haven't gone through this past two fall games? Yeah, um, because last year I know, like, I felt like I couldn't, you know, check so-and-so because they were older than me or they had been here, they had played more than me. But now it's not like that, you know. If I feel like I need to say something, I'm going to say it. Let me ask you about the other side of the ball. And, uh, have you ever, like, tried to tackle DeAndre and he puts that move on you? And what is that like if you have? Well, I know when we thud in practice, you know, when you thud, you got to keep the guy up. So it's a lot harder in practice. But, yeah, that, that dead leg, some serious. What, what, you know, what are you and the team thinking when you see him do that in the game? In the game, I'm like, well, I've seen that a thousand times in practice, so I'm not going to let the other teams running back do it. <laughs> What's been missing from this defense the last couple of years to get over the top? Um, well, I mean, the, uh, my freshman year, you know, we had all those guys. I think that was like a complete team. Like, those guys, I think they were Roquan, Zoe, uh, John John, John and Dom, what they had to say. Whereas last year, you know, it was like, you know, nobody leading, nobody, all they doing the thing, everything in the right way. So, I think that's the big difference that we're going to see this year. Everybody's going to be doing the right thing, right? Way.